You must not be on Twitch yet. Ah, uh -huh. hello, friends. Welcome back to DMD RPG. Tis I, DM Daddy, here once again to bring you happy fun times. Jen of Thieves and I had a very fantastic magical honeymoon, even if two days were spent in a in a hotel resort because of Hurricane Milton. But that's okay. It is fine. We had a blast. It was great. There are pictures of yummy food over on our Discord. What? Discord? Why don't you come over there and look at them? If I typed in the right place. Let's try that again. <laughs> You take one week off, I swear. Ah, uh, look at me go. Discord! Discord is where we uh, talk about all kinds of random shit, mostly uh, video games and tabletop games, but uh, we also have our signups there, our voting. Congratulations to 5th Edition Werewolf Rage Across the Bayou, our 24-session Werewolf the Apocalypse-themed game that will be coming after Resident Evil Survivors. The sign-up form for that will be going live this week. Uh, and then, yeah, so there's that. YouTube! Are you subscribed to us on YouTube? Have you punched that bell? Have you, uh, liked, liked all the videos that get posted over on YouTube? Jen of Thieves works very hard on them. Don't you love Jen? Don't you want Jen to feel good about the stuff she does? Don't you? Don't you? Just Josh. Uh, but uh, shorts are slowly coming back over there as evidenced by our week off last week where we uh, uploaded two boys. And yeah, and then of course there is, as always, Patreon. Do you want infinite cosmic power and the ability to help shape and change things here in our community and our channel? Patreon's the way to do that. You get all kinds of cool things like weighted voting, free signups for games, um, access to private channels on the Discord server, and merch, which Jen spent a lot of time working on merch on our honeymoon while we were trapped in a hotel resort for two days. It is going to be great. It's going to be great. Well, uh, to answer your question, Miss Cricket, uh, Terror Tracker's currently halfway full. Halfway full. And uh, there's a How lovely, you love there, there, that, there is a lovely, lovely Canon NPC that chases people through the RPD, which is where we left off. Hey, speaking of having where we left off, there was a lot of trauma last game. Megan, played by Jenna Thieves, how about you tell us uh, some of that trauma? Oh, well, I uh, finally arrived at the place of my husband's employee. Yeah. Spoke to not okay, Milton. Milton? Marvin. Marvin. Not okay. He was not okay. I had better things to think about. Like my husband. And then I went to see my husband. And then my husband died. Mm. And yeah. now my little brother has told me I'm fine. <laughs> You're single again. Yay! I never liked him. <laughs> uh, annoying little brother Marshall Copeland, played by Glenn Dizzle. Yeah, uh, the uh, the brother-in-law got me that turned into a, a smear. He, he had a bad day. Um, and uh, Frankie, uh, through the cameras, was able to di direct us. I think it was Frank. You were on the cameras, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're all very uh, welcome, by the way. I haven't had a chance to talk yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, uh -huh. guided everybody back to the lobby. Uh, found a few things, nifty things in a safe on the way. Uh, some more ammo. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's where the two of us left off was where we were all reconvening. Yep, everybody had just made it back to the uh to to the lobby. Uh Luna Valentine portrayed by Ashley the Everything. Uh I got my coffee. Um then had to climb or oh, clamber over a horde of zombies coming through the windows. Yeah. Um Ooh, with very little planning and navigation. Um I went outside, I went back inside, I went back inside very quietly because there was something that, there was a liquor on the outside of the RPD building. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Um 
I made the smart choice not to shoot the zombie upstairs and managed to rejoin everyone. Yeah. Good job. Hey, look at that. Uh, the terror trackers rolled over. We'll be having a fun uh, visitor tonight in tonight's test session. Hooray, gee. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Nancy, portrayed by uh, Brohini, a.k.a. Mitch. Well, we got rescued by Greg, Nancy's wonderful husband, yeah. and we got to the police department. There, Nancy's husband met Al, and then Nancy and Greg went to work on the fortifications for the police department to keep everyone safe. Yeah. Before we were attacked by a horde of zombies, one with this weird spear tongue thing, the liquor, and the claws, and... Greg had succumbed to the infection in his bite, and Nancy had to shoot him while he was trying to eat her. Yeah. She had a mental break and was going to blow everyone up, but it was a bluff. She never did it. Megan and Nancy are having a great time at the police department. And uh, last but not least, Frankie Lowe, portrayed by uh, Vince McMahon, Jeff, Pierce, Pierce Power Tough, Pierce Heyman. Pierce O'Mac. Pierce O'Mac now. Wads. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it's uh it's a rough time. We need to get out of this freaking city. We need to uh go to the orphanage and follow very smart routes out because I got a message last time on the computer I was working on getting everybody through the police station safely from somebody that uh somebody's being real helpful right now. And we're getting we're getting we're getting bits and pieces of what's going on with the zombies. That are going around and how, you know, we should hope it's the G virus because that can be easily dealt with. And we know we're dealing with, with that one. But other way. Other, other, other way. G virus. G virus. Yeah. T virus. Sorry. Sorry. There's no G virus. It's fine. Um, G virus doesn't G-virus. exist. What's that? There's no G virus. What about What's that? About? That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, there's uh-huh. like 26 of them. But yeah, the T virus. T virus is what I meant to say. And that's gone with the gas leak. At that uh, in Arkel and the man- mansion out in the Arkale Mountains. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. So not as much as y'all. As previously discussed, you all had made it back into the main lobby. You all had reconvened. You're all back together. The hospital had entered lockdown. Or not the hospital, the police department had entered lockdown. Doors clicked and locked shut. Gates rolled down. So many things. Very secure. Very mindful. Not very demure. I was still on the second floor. That's why I can't say nothing. Oh, my mistake. Let me fix that for you. Good, brother. Boo. Damn. There we go. They were here together. I think there's still one more dude that was not feeling good. Yep. Off by himself near a statue. He's up here. He's up here on the map, on a bench by a big old statue that has three empty slots in the front placard of it. But yeah, to reiterate, we should absolutely get whoever we're getting and get out of town as quickly as possible. I'm not. I'm not leaving without my kids. Didn't suggest leaving them. I say we get who we're going to get and leave. We were told they were at the orphanage. That's a couple blocks away from here. Oh, very, very long blocks. Yeah. There are outside cameras that I can access from this console. Uh... There are not. The ones that are on the outside perimeter, for the most part, seem to be down. Uh, There is one overlooking the staircase that you saw Luna take between the second and the first floor. There's one in the parking garage where there's a big old gate at the uh, entrance of the parking garage that's currently down. Mm -hmm. That's the most you can see of outside. And though you don't see anything at the parking garage, the shadows in that long ramp cascaded down from above show... Not a horde, but some number of um, of rioters. 
Any vehicles in the parking garage? Yeah, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of cop cars and a SWAT van and I find one with a a ram cage on it. Where's Luna? I'm right here. Hey, so as I'm coming down uh, the stairs. You hurt? No, I don't think I'm hurt. Maybe you don't think. I didn't get bit by anything. Just scratched, pecked. Animals can do it now too. So. No. That was a question mark. There was a question mark at the end of your note. I mean, the 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 fucking canine dogs are not dog things anymore. Did you get bit by a not dog thing anymore? No, I didn't go into the canine area. Someone was in there. I think they're dead though. Rough but safe bet. Where you guys keep the keys for, say, one of these big old transports? Uh, there should be a motor pool somewhere, right? Luna, you know that would be in one of the sub basements over there by the said parking garage. Conveniently, also where the canine unit is. Oh, fuck. I was I was literally about to say generally keep it in the motor pool office, which is in the sub basements, and an unfortunate reality of this situation is the only way to really get there is to go through the canine unit. Maybe I can hot wire a car. Oh, there, there's a bunch of different things, uh, Luna. You could go through the morgue. You could go through the holding cells. You could go through the canine. You know, there, there, there's multiple routes. You know this because you work here. Good yeah, luck. Uh, uh, he, like, yeah. he is. He is. Uh, he is breathing a little heavy, and he's got like some open wounds. But is it similar to what was happening to Greg? Kind of. Nancy, you married? And walk over to him. Does he seem like any condition he could fight back? You would know based of how fast you saw it take Greg. It's like he would have turned by now. So maybe he's fighting it somehow. Maybe there's something different about Marvin. Marvin, were you bit? Uh, yeah, um, so one of the kids that we were trying to help get out just kind of like started. Mm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, well. Hey. There's something over here you probably should see. Come on, get up. Uh, she's going to help him up. He sits up. And she's not going to walk with him as he takes a step forward. I'm going to take out my... Oh, I gave my revolver to Frankie, so I guess it has to be the hunting rifle. Mm-hmm. That's going to be pointed at the back of his head. I'm shooting him. Think about the rabbit. That's big you shit. <laughs> Maggot the pep the rabbits. Do I have advantage no. on this because he doesn't see it coming? I'm not even going to make your roll, man. So for everyone else, uh, a loud blast of a hunting rifle goes off in the giant three-floor uh, main lobby of the RPD. Wonderful echoes and everything, as, and then followed by the sound of a body thudding and hitting the Wonderful floor. Under the desk. <laughs> Megan's Nine still crying, right? And Nancy, did you just shoot him? Somewhere. He was bit. Oh, there's he was var burning. various somewheres. Not here in the hall with you, but in the, mm -hmm. the side areas. You hear several roars responding to the very loud hunting rifle that just echoed through everywhere. Well, this is like the fifth time I've shot it in here. I know. Oh, I'm just <laughs> communicating that. Yep. Danger is on its way. 
the danger. Which game's worse? Is, <laughs> is Megan still crying? Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Megan, get yourself together. You have children. We need to get out and get to them. Come on. I'm going to go what over to you, Greg. He has a tool belt on, I imagine, because he's working on the fortifications. Is there a hammer? Sure. Nancy's going to take the hammer and start beating on the lock of the door. I don't need a pep talk from a person determined to get us all in danger at any chance she gets. Half of us have spent half of this time chasing after you. Well, well Nancy and Megan are having their little conversation. Yeah. I'm going to go um, check the now dead officer for any useful equipment. Five bullets. These these thick blue lines were gates, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Which ones are down? All of them. They're all down. Cool. Yep. Got... That there is a panel right here next to this one. Mm -hmm. Um that, that looks like it is still lit up and has power to it. And then nice. this one over here. Uh, the the doorknob slash lock has a weird little spade symbol next to it. And this one down here is fully down. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get out the front door to the truck. No, you don't even have you don't even have to beat up the lock for that. The that door's unlocked. Oh, I assume the power was down. No, it, it is a it is a large set of double doors. That was the front oh. those front doors we walked in. I thought they all got locked because of the security. No. Okay. Is there stuff outside the front door? Uh, you can't see. They are giant wooden doors. Can I hear? You can, I put my ear can, next to the can you? You tell me. What role would that be? Perception? Uh-huh. A four. A four. Sounds clear. Well, nice. Sounds clear. Well, we could go out there to the truck and get out of here. Better than staying in here. Better than staying in here now. Oh, I'm going to open the door. You open the door. A swarm of zombies Bang. bust through, not giving you even a chance to close the door back. And? Yep. What was I just saying? And uh, this one. Yeah. Roll initiative. Roll initiatives. All right. Perfect. Order. Descending. Marshall, you're first. <laughs> Man, I really could wish I could have still had a grenade right about now. Should have bought two. <laughs> I didn't have the money. All right. Oh, no. well, Pull out the totally nine. Scared of Matt's ability of four crits in a row. <laughs> and I'll I'll shoot this one right here. Oh, do I have a line of sight on these that are right here? Uh, you have a line of sight. We'll say on the two middle ones. All right, I will shoot. Down. Gotcha. Pew pew. Pew pew. Hey. That hits. Five damage. Mm hmm. And then uh, I'm going to move behind the desk and take some cover. Go for it. All right, Luna Valentine. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to try to shoot the same one that okay. you shot. Jesus. 27 right. damage. Hell yeah. 
doing some shooting. He is still up. Like he falls down, but slowly starts crawling back to his feet. Uh, pop this out. Move it to a different tab. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Uh, zombies. Well, uh, the one that's been shot is going to go towards the Tough old lady, come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. I have a hammer in my hand. Sure. So what is that? Uh, strength? Yup. Standard melee stuff. With a 19. Cool. Uh, we'll damage for it. Yeah, I don't know either because this is an unplanned mm -hmm. thing that's not on your sheet. Uh, we'll just say it's a D4. We'll just say it's a D4. I was going to say most improvised are like a D4. Two. Two. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey. Hey, Bob. That's just terrible. Cool. That hammer Nancy's coming in clutch. Okay. All right. Hammer so that's one. I'm just going to move. No, I didn't mean to move it. We're just going to move him off the board real quick. One. Make your attack of opportunity. I don't have it. I'm out of reactions. Oh, cool. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and he'll swing on Megan Copeland, who's still standing there, crying, and now simmering with rage. I'm guessing it's been less than an hour since the detective's office when I did the expect the unexpected thing. It has been less than an hour, yes. Word. Uh, my plan's still in effect, too. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Well, that still hits. Yeah. Dang. And uh, go ahead and give me an athletics or acrobatics check. Your choice. Yeah. Hey. You are not grappled. Sweet. Those tears still take... make her too slippery. One. I still take four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Three. Or, and swinging on Frankie. You. Yeah. Okay, at least they're not crits, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, athletics or acrobatics from you, Frankie. Ooh. Woo. Yeah, speak of the shot. crit, and it shall appear. <laughs> and Frankie is grappled games. And, and this one that's here, uh, right here at Nancy. It would be a shame if they ran past me and lined up ever so conveniently. All right. Uh, 17 hit you, Nancy? Just barely. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going to be taking four. And give me an athletics or acrobatics. Your choice. Okay. Let me scroll up to it. I'll go with athletics. Nine. It's a tie. Defender wins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. And Nancy. Well, I don't have any melee weapons. I just have my... You have a hammer. Yeah. We just, just covered much. this. <laughs> 1d4 plus 3 isn't that much. They only have 6 HP. It's fine. Yeah, she'll swing at the, the hammer with... Uh, what's the ability? For when it's it power speed. attack and reckless attack. Oh, we're going back to your minus 5 thing. Okay. Uh-huh. Minus five, but advantage. With advantage, yeah. All right. Oh, you can tell it's been like a few weeks or a week or two for me, too. Mm-hmm. 
Hey. 20. Nice so little hit. 15. So it'll be that... plus five to hit. And plus five damage. Yeah. You, you just and, hit. Uh, plus five damage, then plus three for my strength, which makes it a uh, 12. Hey. 12. Hey. Okay. And. Hey, that's two for Nancy. And Nancy's going to conveniently position herself right here. Okay. Frankie. Got to roll to break the grapple, or can I just do a thing since I'm in melee? Uh, you have to roll to break a grapple to do anything. Gotcha. What was that, strength? Uh, it is athletics or acrobatics, your choice. All right, acrobatics. Versus. Six. You are still grappled. Dr. Megan Copeland. Um, are there any, like, fire extinguishers around me? Uh, there is one behind the desk where Frankie and Marshall are, and you know you pass one up on the second floor. There's also one in a case, uh, by the weird statue thing. Back behind Luna and the headless body of Marvin. Hey, can you like ping it? Sure. Uh, there's one here. There's one here. Okay. I'm I'm just gonna use my full turn to get to it. So I'm just okay. gonna go there. Nice. All right, and that brings us back. Marshall Copeland. All right, so... Frank is grappled. There's another zombie down here. As much as I want to try to help Frankie, that did not end well last time. You did, in Remember? fact, shoot, shoot Frankie last time. This is true. So I'm going to shoot the one that's after Megan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I believe, yep, just barely. Nice. Six damage, that is, boom. And because Sambo, Constitution, goes down. For a second. Luna. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend a focus to gain advantage on my next attack roll. And I'm going to actually shoot at the one. On Frankie? We just lost Ashley. Thanks. <laughs> the worst timing. <laughs> I'm going to be back. My computer literally just shut off. Oh, no. All right, you're going to shoot which one? I can roll for you. Well, Frankie. The one on Frankie? Okay. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. I have the because of the... You spent the focus thing. thing. Um, you're shooting with the 9 mil or the heavy Beretta? Uh, heavy Beretta. The heavy revolver? Uh, right the... Heavy... Oh, the Beretta. Just the Beretta. Got it. And it's with advantage... Okay. Yeah. Uh, both of those would have easily hit, but the 18, they both did the same damage. So cool. Yep. Okay. Um, I hate how you have everything collapsed. 20. Not again. Okay. Hey. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. So still up. All right. Which takes us to our Zombs. Uh, the one on Frankie that has established a grapple is gonna try to bite Frankie. Oh no. Yeah. Again. <laughs> take four more damage, Frankie. Mm-hmm. And uh God, give me a constitution roll there. Uh, boop. Five. Cool. <laughs> it's <Stick> again. 
and other zombie. <laughs> Gonna run up here on Luna. Because she's the next closest thing. Being loud and whatnot. And... I mean, Marshall's closer. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, Marshall is behind stuff. You are in a direct pathway. And also in the same direction with which Mar Megan ran. So I'm going with you. Am I not? Am I not? Is this not an elevated area? It's up a ramp. Oh, he went right. It's okay. still the first floor. Yeah. 15 hit you, Luna? Just barely. Yay! Take five! Oh, I don't yeah. like how excited he's getting right now. No. Perfect. And uh, you know the drill. Athletics or acrobatics? Six. Hey, not, hey. not grappled. Yeah. All right, Nancy. Well, you know, I don't want to say I'm a broken record. But I'm going to swing but with the hammer. Record. Reckless attack. Okay. Just so you are aware, if you botch, you're hitting Frankie. Mm hmm well, it's the immediate threat, man. I, I can't know. botch. I have advantage. There's no way I'm botching. As you say it out loud. You say that. <laughs> like that yeah. pause was extra long. <laughs> right. Uh, 13, but that's still enough. Because you're doing all your stuff, right? Five plus. Um, five plus uh, five, ten. Okay. Well, wow, brain farted there. Hey, okay, so need to make a constitution. Goes down. At least Frankie's not grappled anymore. It's true. Frankie. I'm going to back up a little bit. There's a prone zombie at your feet. Doesn't have a giant flow of blood under yeah. it for some reason. Yeah, shooting it. <laughs> zombie. You have, you have advantage because it is a prone zombie. And we're going to just roll with the pocket pistol because that's what I got on my sheet. 13, 20. Nice. Yeah. That's six damage. Damn it. And Dr. Megan Copeland, you get there. There's a fire extinguisher. And give me, give me a perception real quick. As you're standing there, you're not sure from where, but you feel a cool breeze up here by the fountain, like there's air coming in from somewhere, but there's no like air vents or anything near around you. Continue with your actions. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Um, I'm going to one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, Swing the fire extinguisher using my dangerous stuff. Okay, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten is enough to hit. Yeah. And your damage is 1d6 plus three. Seven? Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let me come over back to the zombie. Goes down again. Marshall. All right, what do we got? There's, is Frankie still grappled? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, no. Let me try my the one Sorry. that is not grappling Frankie. Neither of them are grappling Frankie. That one. Thank you. <laughs> hey. He's in here. Yay. Aw. I know it's been a week, so remember, if you want to headshot the zombies so that they maybe die quicker, you That's roll with you, you roll with disadvantage. You have to declare this. 
I forgot about it. I know. That's why I was like, it's been a week. Let's let's just do a friendly right. reminder. I was kind of just hoping they failed. Hi, Brad. How you doing, friend? Hi, hi. Another chair tracker. Let's go. Hey, Brad. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. The worst that can happen. It's fine. All right. That was uh that was Marshall. Shot. Hell yeah. You can imagine us getting two full terror trackers in one night. No, I would like to not imagine, please. A little Valentine. I'm gonna I'm gonna headshot the one that just got knocked down in front of me. Okay. Love you too, Brad. Does a 10 hit? Yes. But you still have to roll a disadvantage, though. But he was knocked down prone, so... It's right, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, hey, Kelly uh, redeems two more trackers. God damn it, Kelly. <laughs> I'm going to come over there, and I'm going to steal your fucking cornbread. All right. That hits, and... Noise. Boom. Uh, which leaves us with just the one zombie. Shot, shot, hammered, shot. <laughs> Crawls his way back to his feet again. And takes another swing on Frankie, because Frankie's right there. I don't want to tell you how to run your games, everyday heroes, but uh, yeah, nah. Dave knows who's in charge. Well, you see how Frankie is the traitor right. in our group that's a part of the Umbrella Corp. Uh, he's not a traitor. He helped you, you all he... out and is trying to help you all out now. Grappled again. Do you have to? Exactly. I don't have to. <laughs> I could have left y'all at the bar. <laughs> Nancy. You could have. I am going to aim for the head with my hammer, but I'm going to reckless attack to get rid of the <laughs> disadvantage. Okay. Watch this still be a boss and you just hit him in the hit. Ooh, 12. That hits. It only has one HP, so your damage roll doesn't matter. Okay. But it's nice to see anyway. Perfect. And... With the front door still open, you're all able to hear the sounds of massive hordes, kind of like the ones that had been outside, busting through windows and falling in and poking their arms through and everything. Going outside, at least through the front, probably not a good idea. I'm going to... You open the door? Wait, see, what did I just say? I'm going to quickly run down. I'm going to shut the doors. Like, 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 literally. You got any more of them needles? Crazy bit again. Mm. Mm. Anybody else right heard? there? Out there is safer than in here. With Obviously the not. Things, the ones with the claws, the weird spear tongues. Have you seen them? I'd rather face that horde that we can you kill. You can go by yourself. We either make decisions as a group or we don't. We don't have time to discuss this. You have children in danger. We need to go. We had time and then somebody opened the doors. Do those children have time? As long as nobody's opening doors to hordes, Nancy, probably. <laughs> Matt, you're muted. Too far. She's too far. I said, to be fair, that was only like 30 seconds. Yeah. To be fair. Is anyone else bit? Oh, God. Oh, I got Is anyone else hurt? I didn't get bit. No, I'm good. Looking so bad right now. <laughs> All right. Looks like you've been hit by a fucking truck. I will use yet another genius point. Yay. To pull out another file. Any other 
prosthetic limbs you'd like to warn me about before I jab you with a needle? Just the right one. Hey, one second. Just the right arm and right leg. Okay. All right. Okay, gonna gonna use. I have the cure. Yay! Huzzah! And then also tend to any actual just normal wounds using medicine. Yeah. Okay, give me a medicine roll. Yeah. Hell yeah! Uh, bye. Frankie, a uh, slash roll one of your hit die. I just hit the dice button. Nope. Save your save those buttons because those gotcha. are for different things. Gotcha. This is outside help healing. Hey, heal four back. Take that. We had nine. Anybody else? Don't worry. Do that not say anything, but she's got a big splash across your face from the zombie like right here. I'll raise the slightly slashed arm. Okay, that I can super glue that. Uh, get over here. G gonna gonna take five minutes to glue Luna's arm back together. Fourteen. A uh, quick look around this main hall here. Is there any sort of like on the wall med kit or anything? Uh, there's a first aid kit back here behind the reception desk. Oh, word. Uh, to, to Luna, go ahead and roll one of your hit dice. Don't slash roll it. Don't click the button. Yeah. And while I'm holding Luna's arm shut while the glue dries, I'm going to gesture to where I felt the breeze from. Yeah, the, the big maiden statue up there in between the first and second floor. In between the double-sided staircase. Is there something behind or about, below or above that? Right. There was a, a breeze. Do you know? Um, Luna, you would not know. Sorry. The, the player is slightly befuddled at the fact that their hit die is a fucking D10. Yeah. You just rolled very terribly on your uh, level ups. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I'm back at full health now. Yay. Oh my God. And I got two over. Anyways, Luna, you wouldn't know about any weird secret things about the statue, just so you know. Secret? Weird? What? Megan was just asking about the maiden statue that is the centerpiece of the main hall. I know, that is my response. Okay. Megan was like, what? I knew, you were, I knew you were talking, so I just wanted to make sure you heard her. All right, piece together. Nancy's face. At least her heart hasn't stopped. Well, while, while I fix her face, can you, can one of you please go see if there's like a, an emergency exit or something over there? Okay. Don't stare at me, please. Oh, uh, Luna, let's go. Yeah, uh, me and Marshall will just go up to the statue. Can I, can I? To wipe away the blood so it's drier and then and glue uh nancy's face together too hey nancy <laughs> slash roll one of your hit dice as well just hand on her face while the glue is drying what is my hit die it is a detent okay just pinching her face together somehow nice. despite the buzzing rage energy radiating from megan's body as gently as she can Beautiful. Luna, Marshall, you both can give me investigation rolls if you'd like. Oh. <laughs> oh, dang. I mean, Hell yeah, right. Luna. We'll get whatever I'm finding this first aid kit to the doc. Hell yeah, Marshall. Uh, inside the first aid kit, there are some bandages and one of those handy dandy Umbrella Corp first aid sprays. Neat. Megan, you can add that to your inventory. 
and just going to dump it into my backpack. Yep. Uh, Luna and Marshall, as you guys investigate the statue and everything, uh, it is a giant, beautiful picture of, or g beautiful giant marble statue of a maiden holding a sword, very just to see their scales in the other hand. And it looks like there should be water in it. Like it's a fountain, but like the water is not turned on right now. And there are three empty circular slots at the front placard of it. The circles are about, about the size of my face. What are these slots? I don't know. Maybe something that we can put there. Luna. When Megan gets done Luna. patching me up, I want to search the zombie bodies and like take their jeans if they're wearing jeans, look for pocket knives. That there's nothing on said zombies. Can you please not just rub the dead? Luna, evens or odds? Oh, yeah. Uh, evens, always. Hey. As you were fleeing your way here, uh, in the body that got kind of like cut in half, he was saying something about he'd found a way out. And he had like a little notebook. But that's all the way back here on the other side of the security door. It might have something to do with the statue. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Also, because you guys' perception rolls and investigation rolls and whatnots were so good, up on the second floor, right there on the landing, there's a giant marble statue, kind of similar to this one, but it is of... A unicorn. Hey, Luna. So, uh, what's with the unicorn? Luna, you would know that before this became the police precinct, this was an art museum for Raccoon City, and a lot of the pre-existing art that had been here was just too big to move, so they made it part of the decor of Raccoon City Police Department. Well, this place was a uh, art museum before it was RPD. It I guess it was one of the statues that was just here that was too big to move. There's actually a lot of the artwork around here is stuff from when this was a museum still. Let me go. I want to go check up the unicorn. Uh, you go up to the unicorn. I'm not going to make you roll for this. Uh, it is a beautifully carved marble statue of a big old unicorn. And there's some kind of puzzle. Like, there's three little things that you can rotate on the front of the unicorn. There's a Ooh. big, there's a big bronze coin with a unicorn on it. Okay. Big bronze coin, just one coin? Just one coin. And is it already socketed in or is it just It, it is in the statue of the unicorn. Does it look like the same size as the three holes down oh, below? For sure. For sure. hundred percent. I will take the coin. Uh, it does not budge. It doesn't budge. Okay. It does not budge at all. Dan, so what are you it. doing? But again, uh, near the placard, there are uh, three little rotating things. I'm going to come join him up there at the unicorn. Start messing with the, the dials. Give me an intelligence, Luna. An intelligence. Can I aid? You cannot aid in this one, no. Okay. Got a toil. Okay. Uh, as you start rotating, are you rotating the first, second, or third one? Uh, the first one. The first one, uh, there's a bunch of weird symbols. There's a woman, there's a bow, a bow and arrow. There's a snake, a vase, scorpion, fish, lion, a branch, a bird. But as you rotate and it lands on fish, you hear a click and it stops moving. Hmm. 
I'm gonna try again with the next one. Marshall's gonna start spinning the next one. Give me an intelligence roll, Marshall. Uh, Marshall rotates and rotates and rotates. And when Marshall stops for a second, like there's the sound of another click, but all the pieces scramble. Like they all like roll on their own. Nah, brr. Hmm. He had landed on branch for that. Do I have to reset the one? You do have to reset the first one. They all they all uh, unlocked and uh, scrambled and shuffled themselves. Okay. All right. We'll so we the first one back to not branch. So Megan, for you, you just you just see Luda and Marshall like go to the statue, then go to a statue yeah. higher up, and now they're just up there messing with stuff. I'm over. <laughs> Trying to brute force our way through this book. Would this fall under security or anything like that? It would not. Okay. So just another intelligence roll. Got it. Yep. So what was the first one? Not branch and whatever the next one is. So what first was style the first style? Fish. Okay. Okay. Second, uh, Marshall doesn't go for branch. Uh, he uh, shoots for the bow and arrow. That seems apropos for right now. Same thing. Shuffles. Marshall's not having a good time with this. Here, Marshall, let me try, and I'll yep. set the first one back to the fish. Okay. And then I'll take the second one. <laughs> you slowly work your way, and the second it gets to Scorpion, it locks in place. Are you playing? All right, so we know it's fish and Scorpion. All right. So we know for last one, Marshall. Fish and scorpion. Try the, I'm about to try the third one. No, don't don't reset all of our work. You know, I was I was curious how the Resident Evil puzzles were going to play out at the tabletop game, and I'm so happy with this right now. We're brute forcing this shit. Well, clearly, Bo's going to work this. Nope, they both reset. <laughs> Why don't you work together and maybe you'll have an advantage? Nope, I already said that they can't. Well, they can't assist yeah, each other on yeah. this. Aww. All right. The third I'll one. Th th take the third one and let's go. I'll start the fish and scorpion again. <laughs> Who's going for the third one? Is it Marshall again? Obviously, I I can't do things <laughs> right today. I'll go for it. Luna, you go for the woman because it's tied to the woman statue that, and they all reset. <laughs> Don't Is there a that. reason we're doing this? Dude. Doesn't even look at Marshall, just holds up his finger. Don't look at me with that attitude. Reset the other two. Uh, yeah, there's a... Point ignoring bank that looks like a pit in the statue down there. And bot number three fish, scorpion, and oh, Christmas. You, la you land on vase, and they all three click, and the coin up there in the chest area of the unicorn falls forward, landing on the little landing right there in front of you. And I take the coin downstairs to the uh. Plaque. Megan, one you see, it Megan, you see, you see your brother coming downstairs with a giant coin of a unicorn, like the size of my face, in hand. Goes straight to the maiden statue and slack, slots it in, and there's a click of the maiden statue. The statue itself begins to vibrate and shake, and a piece here at the bottom of the base of the statue slides down into the ground. And looks like there's bars and some kind of little tunnel going down. How long has it been since we slept? 
You haven't played enough Skyrim. I What's a Skyrim? Since we started the game? game, since the disaster broke out. I'm it's serious because there's a detail about Nancy that it matters to. It is still the it's still the first night since you guys started venturing towards the police station. The events of Jack's bar, the street, getting here, what's happened here so far, this is all the same night. Okay. Nancy is okay then. For now. For now. No, no. What other big art was left behind? <laughs> uh Luna, that there's way too many to count, but you do know that there's at least two more kind of marble statues. There's one on the third floor, and there's another on the second floor uh, beyond the library. I think that might be a lot of big, but I mean, as far as marble statues, there's one on the second and one on the third. What is it this might be a way out. That doesn't involve running through that. But it, 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 it involves running through the police station. Which we can handle. Like we don't do that already. Hmm. Check the cameras for these big statues oh. on the floors. That Give me a computer's right? roll, Frankie. Yep. Look at all these Frankie smart people wonder. coming together. Frankie, what do you want? Computers? Oh, while well, you're checking the cameras? See if you can keep an eye out for this, like, blind dog thing that climbs on the walls. Uh, I will keep an alert off of that. My what's name just came through with a long ass beep in my headset to die. Uh, second. Wow. Um, yeah, switch. Can you still hear us? Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, I can still hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, evens or odds, Pierce? Always evens. Okay, cool. Damn it. Uh, as you're clicking through, you see um yeah, no, uh, on the second floor, just as Luna said, right on the other side of the library, like there is a statue of of a lion carved in marble. But as you click through, you are not able to see a third statue. Gotcha. But you now have eyes on the second floor one, and there, the the room looks very secure. There's a door on one wall and a door on another wall, and there's no zombies or anything in there. Hmm. Is there a slot for a lion coin? There, there's a big... You can't see it because it's not the best security cameras, but there is marble and there is a bronze thing on the marble. Kind of similar to what you saw in person. Who's here is good at being really quiet? Are we seriously going on a scavenger hunt right now? It's the safest way to get out of here. No, we're not. We can't stay here, Megan. Yeah, you just got mad because I said don't use the front door because it would take too long. Do you know how long a scavenger hunt is going to take? Well, do you have any suggestions on how we get out of here? I don't feel like anything I suggest you're going to shoot down anyway. Why would I ask? I'm... You're shooting down all of ours. So what's your plan? Sorry, am I the only one who thinks it's absolutely insane that we're going on a scavenger hunt for unicorn coins in the middle of an apocalypse? You're not the only one that thinks it's insane. You were using a very reasonable voice in discussing this, and it's very unsettling. We don't have time for emotion right now, Megan. We need to get out of here. We need to save your children. Stop the talking about my thinking. children. Yeah, that's appealing to emotion right there. Um, hmm. I can keep eyes on stuff, but I don't. It's not seeming too quiet. I can't really see anything, and that's the worrying part. Uh... Are there, uh, on some of the bodies, are there two police radios? Like, a little short range? Yeah, there's uh there there's radios over uh, by the bench that Marvin was resting on. Mm -hmm. All right, I I take one of the radios. I give the other one to Frankie. Keep it on the cameras. We're gonna go check. And Leon and Claire in the future will now no longer have radios. <laughs> Nor Marvin. Back. Don't put them back. <laughs> Nor Marvin. Marvin's got Mar Marvin's got 
a non-issue. Poor Marvin. I don't, I don't think Matt knows how things work in this universe. You use it once and then you throw it away. It's like keys. No, keys have multiple uses and then it'll prompt you to throw it away. No. One use, throw it away. Never need this key again. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go up to the second floor. All right, Marshall and Luna are uh, venturing forth. We're just ignoring Megan and Nancy's argument. <laughs> We're focused on getting out of here. Tracking, kind of. tracking them on the cameras. Did Did you say like where the the other the third one was? So we couldn't see it. It's It's somewhere on the third floor, is what Luna told you. Mm-hmm. As As my brother. And Luna just wander off. Yep. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just, just also wander off. Which direction are you wandering off? Whatever direction gets me to the third floor. <laughs> well, you know that the um, through like the hallways to the left of the front desk where you're currently standing. Through those hallways, there's eventually a staircase back beyond the dark room. That goes all the way up to the third floor. Okay. And there's um, a way to get to the third floor in the library, but it's maybe locked. Do I know what shape the key is? I don't need to look at the map. Yeah, it's a spade. (laughs) Okay. There we go. I have one of those that I'm never throwing away, ever. Do you remember which one you have? Yeah, this baby. You sure do? <laughs> Listen, it's been a week. I just like making sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nancy, what are you doing? Frankie's not following Megan. Megan's just wandering off by herself. Frankie's got a job. Frankie is man in the vanning at the computer. (laughs) I have not noticed Megan leaving. (laughs) Megan doesn't have a gun. Frankie does. We can't let her go by herself. She doesn't have anything other than a scalpel to defend herself with. Are you gonna be okay? Go find out. Go find Doc. I'm cool here. Yeah, Megan's uh, Megan's at the door. Yeah, Megan's just went up there. (laughs) She's still right next to you guys. Yeah, no. Frankie is focused, and Nancy said we're gonna let her leave. Like, what? No. (laughs) Can can you tell me how many there are this way and then down the hallway? Give me another computer roll, Frankie. We're making everything worse. You should go off by yourself, Doc. I'm clearly not going off by myself. I've got Nancy. So, Frankie, just so Mm -hmm. you're aware before you make this roll. Yeah. I will allow you to look ahead for one of your groups. That's what that's exactly the point is going on right now. Yep. So I need you to choose. Are you going to look ahead for Marshall and Luna? So they might have a safe way. Are you looking ahead for Nancy and Megan? Even on it. Go for it. No, I want Frankie to choose. Yeah, I know. (laughs) We got to be pragmatic real quick. Doc is way more important. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Give me a computer's roll. Yep. 22. So you start scanning the cameras over on this side of the first floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a couple of corpses laying here in the West office, which is the door Megan's currently butted up against. Doesn't seem to be any movement. Uh, down here in the other hallways, there are many zombies that have busted through windows. There are many zombies. There's two zombies, three zombies, as you click through the cameras. 
uh, here in the hallway connecting from the West office to the staircase that Megan's trying to get to. And oh, there's really a blur really? of motion that you'll occasionally catch, but it's moving too fast for you to like really get a good image of, but it's crawling along the walls. Mm -hmm. Scuttling, if you will. Yeah. Before Nancy goes to follow Megan, she's gonna take the chainsaw off her side. <laughs> Frankie, if you think you can unjam this, you're free to use it. We try not to. I can't slow my stuff with so many ways. Um, just it might be useful if something gets close. You don't know. I mean, I got the gates down. Luna's a cop. You'll be. He'll be fine. You guys, there is. Also, it's kind of bulky. I don't want to. I don't want to carry it. Bulky. It's out there. I'm sorry. You what? Want to deal with the claw thing with the tongue? No, but... It. What? Called what? What do you mean? A liquor? You know what they were called? What else do you know about them? Frank, you wouldn't know, you you wouldn't know what they were called. I know. I've heard rumbles. <laughs> I haven't seen one. Yep. I was on weapons. <laughs> yep. I don't know what they're actually called, but... People have been describing things with long claws and long tongues. Frankie, Megan, Marsha, and uh, Nancy, give me a perception. Mm-hmm. It's just their licky licky. Every time. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Also cool. 16. As everybody's, as the three of you are talking and everything, you can't, you don't, you know it's from the opposite direction from where you're going, but it sounds like, Sounds like something's pulling apart metal. And only Nancy, Nancy, you're the only one that apparently hears it. Yeah, no, just, yeah. With the amount of panic that's already happening with Megan, Nancy isn't going to say anything. We just need to stay focused on figuring out how to get out of here. Awesome. Yeah, no. I never saw them. I don't know what they're actually called, but by descriptions I've heard of the claws and the teeth or the teeth so, and bones. Yeah. Is there a better suggestion or is this just an FYI? Uh, my suggestion is don't go that way. If those okay. things are loose, you're not going to fight them off with a scalpel or a fire extinguisher. I'm not, can we not take this this the stairway up to the second floor? Because it says F2. You can. That's the same direction uh, Marshall and Luna had gone to. Okay. Then I'm, I'm just going to start heading that way instead. Awesome. Hope for the best. Whatever. I'll stay with Frankie so he's not alone. But I am dropping the chainsaw because it's clunky and big and heavy and slows my character down. Well, cool. We'll just say it's that big thing next to Frankie now sitting on the desk. Hell yeah. All right. Well, in that case, we'll move to the group that's adventuring into the police station. Woo. Woo. Are we leaving Doc? No. Come Doc alone. No, Doc is going with Marshall and Luna. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh. That was the only one on the We're floor. off to the statue. Peace. There we go. Nice. All right, you go up the stairs, and all three of you have seen this now because you both came from all. All three of you came from the second floor, and yeah, uh, there's one way off to one side, which is where uh, your husbands were. It's the hallway that Luna had to run through to and sneak past the zombie. And then there's another one with an, only one door, little spade symbol on, on near the lock. And yeah. And Frankie, that because door? you declared that you were prioritizing the doctor, um, as you look ahead in the way that they're going, there are two zombies milling about in the library with one corpse behind a table. Not moving. Mm. 
Where are we going? <laughs> Radio. And I also have this key, and no one else can hold it. And that's final. Okay, that's her. Radio up to the group. Radio clicks over. Oh. What do you radio to the group, Frank? Talk. Heads up, coming in. Oh, uh, looks like you're right outside of the library. If you're heading in there, I'm seeing two things walking and something laying down. Definitely not alive. So. Good to know. I'm going to do my best to volume. not talk in an area where they can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I turned the volume way down. Well, uh, We'll let him know when we're out of there. Then if we don't say anything in like 15 minutes, we're dead. Megan, as you're walking, uh, you notice that there's a couple of like eviscerated police officers, uniforms. Like they don't look bit or chewed on. They look more clawed. But one of them has a full clip of ammo for a 9mm Beretta on his belt. And you can thank Lush for that. Oh, thanks. Um, I I will just kind of like wander off as though drawn by an exterior force yeah. to both um, collect <laughs> their badges, mm -hmm. just toss them in my bag, um, and the, the ammo. Evens are odd. I don't know what to do with it. Actually, have... actually, you know what? It's an intervention. <laughs> One of the badges is a little weird. Weird how? Well, um, so you have one badge. It's like, oh, standard police badge. Cool. And this other badge is a bit thicker, and it's made of a different material. And it looks like it has, like, some kind of one chip. Like, not like, you know, like, damage, but like a computer chip. Like a SIM card. Like, not taped, but glued onto the back of it. And as you're looking at that, there's like a little button on like the clip part of the badge. And when you move the button, like you slide it, a little USB drive comes out of the bottom. That I'm putting in a pocket. Um, I'm just holding the like, ammo out. Like, I don't... And the badge, instead of saying uh, the Raccoon City Police Department, has the Raccoon City Police Department, but across the middle, across the shield, there's a big yellow star in the middle of the shield and a little blue banner that says stars. Because your relationship with your husband and knowing things, stars, the Special Tactics and Rescue Squad, a special division of the RPD, they have their own office here. This is a stars badge office that was hella fucked up recently the one that you heard your husband saying that some of the communication stuff had been messed with yeah yeah waves ammo around mm -hmm. uh marshall you still have that nine millimeter right yeah here thank you give yourself 15 more bullets thank you and Lush, thank you so much for uh, that awesome intervention. Intervention yeah. Interventions are very important in this game. Yeah. You're all always almost dying. Megan, you still have my stun gun, right? Yeah. Do you want back? Okay. Um, well, I was thinking because he said that there was two walking around. I mean, the stun gun's quieter than a gun. If you wanted to, like, I don't know, sneak up on them and zappy zap. If if I if I if I want to, Megan, no. Marshall, what? Luna, give me a perception check. Oh no! As we've taken a lot of time standing here talking. Twenty, twenty-three. 20 good perception checks everyone <laughs> very good good it's job nice. it's not it be nice whatever it is it's not here with you but there's the sound of 
stomping footsteps, very heavy stomping footsteps and the sound of doors like slamming open and slamming shut because you're here in the main hallway you can generally here in the central area you can hear things happening but it sounds like it's getting closer come over to Frankie it sounds like there's something loud coming it's slamming doors Thumbing through cameras on this floor. As you're uh, on your floor or their floor? Their floor. Their floor? I'm not seeing anything on the cameras on the second floor. No, nothing that sounds like what they're describing. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start moving towards the library door. Yeah, okay. okay. I got the pace. All right, Megan. Yeah. Uh, you have, you used the spade key. Yeah. You do not receive a notification that it's okay to discard the safe key yet. Good. Good. I'm used to ski. Hallucinations are going to hit hard later. <laughs> okay. Uh, you unlock the door and you step in, or you open the door to look. And as Frankie described, there's one zombie, and you can hear another one kind of milling about over off to your right. And there is a corpse back behind a table. Zombies. Okay. Zombies have not been alerted to your presence yet. Okay. Is the one right here facing toward? It's kind of just it's kind of just standing there. Okay. Like it's remembering some part of its mortal life, looking at a book that's on a desk. A P calculus. Ugh. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna try to try to be real sneaky and stealth in. So okay. we don't or Give me that stealth. It... Give me that stealth. Oh, and important. There's a staircase uh, going to the third floor. And there's a door off to the side. Yeah, well, I definitely get hurt. <laughs> you might not. You might not. Bob. Don't, don't lie to me like that. You might not. Have you seen how I've been rolling? They can always roll worse. They can roll worse. I'll just, I'll just put my clumsy self right here. And it does. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So He's as you start, as, as you start walking into the room, he does in fact turn. Oh. And we're not going to do an initiative this time. There's not that many things. So we're going to try a new thing that I saw on a uh, TikTok. Uh, instead of doing initiatives for this group and everything, we're going to do uh, group actions. So mm -hmm. players will all get to take theirs. Zombies will then get to take theirs. This allows you guys to more coordinate and stuff or just call out what you want to do. Each of you think think of it like a dagger heart and how that did. Only instead of having multiples, you each have one. Hmm. Um. So Our goal Megan, is the third floor, right? Right now? Uh, right now, your goal is the, this room next to the library. Okay. Where you know the lion statue is. I plan to stun gun this one to try to let everyone get around me. Okay. All right. Marshall? Uh, um, Marshall is going to try... Is it going to at least test this door down here? Which door? The allow. Okay, so you're going to try to run past and check the door. Luna. Yeah, one, two, um, once Megan stun guns this one by her, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna try and take the gun and crack its skull instead of shooting it. Okay, cool. Hell yeah! Sounds like sounds good. All right, so Megan, stun gun. Yeah. I think you put that on here for me. I believe I did. I don't have proficiency in a stun gun? Nope. No, it's a you, you, you don't have any weapon proficiencies with your uh, class and stuff. Yeah. I gave you scalpel because you're a doctor. 
Oh, I got a 10. Uh, that is enough to hit. And five damage. First of all, that's their max HP. And that's how much it has left. And it has to... Fitness, stunning, shit. What was the thing for stun? You know what? We're just going to say it's a con roll. I think it was just a... Yeah. We'll, we'll go with con roll DC 15. To avoid the stun. That's probably wrong, but I like it. It's more fair for you guys. You are, you are the DM, so whatever I say, guys. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <we're> the DM. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I'm distracting it. It's fine. Either way, I'm still distracting it. You are still distracting it. Uh, all right, uh, Luna, you were also going to also try to attack the zombie. Yeah. Now yeah. that you see that it's not stunned, are you still bashing or are you shooting? I'm still going to try to bash. Okay. Uh, give me a d20 strength roll. Just wondering, if it bites me while I'm stunning it, do I get electrocuted? Mm hmm All right, I got 14. That is enough to hit. Give me a, a d4 plus your strength modifier, not the actual total. For five. Tay is feeling real good about this. Uh, <laughs> give me another uh, strength roll, real quick, because this is if you're headshotting, this is still disadvantage. Oh yeah, true. That is still five. enough to hit. That is five. That is enough to take care of this boy. All right, and Marshall. All right, let's see. Two. Three. Six gets me to the door. Six gets you to the door. And you were not being stealthy. You were just going for the door, right? Uh, yeah, at this point, uh, we're all kind of just going in. Okay. Um, I'm not opening. I'm just testing to see if it's locked. As Marshall sprints over the door, the door is not locked. The corpse that was back behind the table sits up. Oh. Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Uh, so. And the one that's back here by all the giant bookcases of libraryness slowly begins to shuffle its way in that direction as well. Towards where it heard noise. So this way. Round two. Each of you have one action. Uh, I'm going to try and do the exact same thing again. Um, so you're going to hope Megan keep. You're going to hope Megan keeps stunning. Well, if she wants to stun, otherwise I'm just going to run up and just start bashing. Megan. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to keep playing distraction. I guess I will, I will stun gun, stun gun yeah. that one. Okay. Like maybe from here. So I'm not immediately within reach. Okay. Marshall. Uh, I'm going to try to hit the front one with pepper spray. Okay. He's got a finger with the Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm so sorry. My ADHD is kicking. Was that, was the door to the lounge locked? No. Okay. Uh, Are we not opening the door? Anyway. Because he wants to help his sister. Because he wants to help his sister. All right. Uh, so we're going to do pepper spray, stun, bash. Yeah. Okay. Mark's will give me pepper spray. <laughs> okay. That could have been real bad otherwise. Uh, that does hit. For and four poison. Mace! Straight into the face. Um. The undead care not for spicy. It does specifically Marcy. say that zombies are immune to poison. Ah. 
Zombies are not receiving pain. The, the, the book specifically says zombies are immune to poison damage. <laughs> uh, okay. But it's okay. Megan. Yeah. I'll bark off the round. <laughs> but now you know. No. That is enough to hit. After battle. Cool. And. Cool. Not stunned, but that was four damage on this guy. Yeah. And nope, not that. This. So, and Luna. So seventeen That's a, and nineteen. Hell yeah, eight. both good enough to hit. D four plus your strength. Long to this one. Five again. More than yeah. enough. And zombies. And it's gonna do the zombie thing. It's gonna swing on Luna. And try to grapple her in. <laughs> Take two bludgeoning. But you, uh, athletics or acrobatics? And Luna is grappled by the zombie's arms. Beautiful. Player turn. Seeing Luna grapple Marshall. Marshall, go. And try to uh, go? Through the door. Okay. Marshall will be going through the door to the statue. Okay. Uh, Luna, you obviously have to break the grapple. I'm going to try to help her. Break the grapple. Okay, you will have uh, advantage on your breaking of the grapple. Okay. And if you do break free of the grapple, you will have your actions. Okay, is it strength to break free? It is athletics or acrobatics, the same thing that we just did to establish the grapple. Oh. Is it 18? Who? You break the grapple! We just for that. Cool. Right? Ooh. No, She's gonna yeah. just shove her arm directly into its mouth. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Luna, Luna, your actions. Oh, that shit. And Marshall, you can move on in to the lounge. Uh, three. And like I said, I'm gonna run toward the lion statue. Oh. Try to start the pu start puzzling. Yep. Uh, three. Three well, is not enough. To three is not, not enough. No. Yeah. So. Uh, you broke the grapple, though, so it has to, it can't bite you by the mechanics and rules of this game. That's all I was hoping. But it is swinging on you again to try to, try to establish another grapple. Take five damage. All right. And give me uh, athletics or acrobatics. <laughs> you are super grappled. See a lot of green numbers here, Mac. I'm not. I'm just clicking buttons, my, my guy. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my broom, man. Yeah. Yep. So, mean, mean, so, so meanwhile, downstairs, Frankie and Nancy are just watching the three group. Is like, first zombie, hell yeah. Second zombie, we're, pepper spray doesn't work. Cool. But hell yeah, got that guy. Then this third zombie's like, there's the alpha zombie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next turn. Marshall, you said you're gonna start trying to do the statue? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is. It is the same same setup. It is a giant marble statue of a lion, same bronze coin, and the symbols, all the same symbols on all of them for what you can see. Just because first chance, I'm going to start with fish. You start with fish. <laughs> all three of the dials spin. Hmm. So it's not these. Okay, Megan and Luna. I can break the grapple again. You assisting with that, or you got to try to do something else, Megan? Is, uh, is there anything else immediately around me that I could use as a dangerous stuff weapon? Uh, lots of books, chairs. Um, nice. Grabbing a chair. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. There's a From the top rope. Thank God. <laughs> hope not, but Put we'll see. Chair across the zombies' back. Now, no. Mm -hmm. I would like to remind you, because Luna is currently in a grapple. If you botch, 
You're going to hit Luna. You're impressing me. Her I don't know. Uh, it's it. It is what it is. I'm a doctor. Isn't it like the, the Hippocratic Oath is uh, you'll do no harm? Well, some but sometimes you have to hurt people to fix them. Listen, the apocalypse has different rules, okay? You got to think further ahead. <laughs> All right, we're going to harm to a patient. So, Megan, you're going to go first. Okay. That, yeah. Well, um, Sandra's stuff's still not working. It's still not working. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. Is it, um, where 1d20 plus my intelligence? I believe so. Plus, plus three. What is your DV? It did not hit. Dang. Okay. That was about okay. That did botch. Yeah, but it did botch. It grappled. It totally hits. <laughs> Luna, you're old as six. And right there in front, the front of the good doctor, the zombie botches its bite roll. Hell yeah. Just chomps onto a and piece you know of what? Air. And you know what? Because it's a botch, because it's a botch, I'm going to say that breaks the grapple. It goes to take a big bite and whiffs and tumbles and slips off Luna. Covered in gore and viscera and whatnot. That was gonna hurt. Yeah, that was, was gonna, gonna hurt. Really hurt. That was max damage on that bite. Max damage, minimum roll. All right. <laughs> Go help, Marshall. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and Marshall's Meg still. Megan, did you move in, swing, and then move back? Is that why you're far away, or should you be next to the zombie right now? She should be next to it. I hadn't moved. So. Okay, there we go. Um, Jen, did you tell me to help Marshall? She did? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to help Marshall. Okay, so you're going to move into the lounge with Marshall? Yeah. All right. Uh, Marshall, you are still going to be trying to figure out the puzzle. And Megan, what are you doing? God damn. I I am I am just gonna you keep trying to um cherish out the zombo. You're gonna try because... to, uh dangerous stuff does require your a point of your thing. It it's doesn't not, mm -mm, it's just a move. It's not a plan. Oh okay, cool. And it is prone, so she has advantage, right? Right. I, I didn't say it was prone. I just said that it slipped off oh, you. Okay. I uh, remember if you said it well or not. Marshall, you scroll the things, and as you slowly slide over the lion symbol on the lion statue, it clicks. All right, first one's lion. Okay. Megan, go ahead and give me the attack roll. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see if I can do it right this time. That'd be super cool. Uh, it's hard to see around my mic, so <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I know that feeling. Do you not have a boomerang? Oof. Nope. Okay, you were going for the head though, right? Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a botch. Lower than that. Yeah, but you can't roll lower than that. That's fair. Uh, Whoa. You go to swing and you whiff on the zombie as it's still kind of like. Not prone, but like hunched over and smash the chair on, on the table. You want me to roll damage on myself? No. Okay. Okay. You just lose the weapon. Okay. All right. So, zombie. I'm bro. Now, Megan, just as a reminder, this type of zombie that you've seen is moving very slowly compared to other zombies that you've seen. So it is possible that you could be able to kite it. You know it'll chase you. Mm -hmm. 11 does not hit you. Nope. Perfect. Next Thanks. turn. Marshall, Luna, you're going to be working on the statue? Yep. Megan, yeah. what are you doing? Um, did you guys close the door behind you? No. <laughs> no. Bummer. Um, 
<laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna be trying to keep just out of his its grasp, mm -hmm. looking for something else to use to put between us, but mostly. <laughs> right. Uh Marshall, you go for uh the woman symbol this next time and they all reset. Luna, you go for uh, Scorpion. Why not? Scorpion. Scorpion worked last time, and they reset yeah. again. All right, not woman, not Scorpion. Well, we know Lion. Yep. And Megan, go Megan, you can go ahead and move. <laughs> not. I'll be thumbing through cameras while they're doing this. Give me a computer's roll. Yeah. Are you staying on the second floor or are you going to other floors? Oh, uh, we're checking other floors since I didn't see what Damn. they were describing as stomping around out here. Because that seems like a problem. <laughs> well, we're going to start, start with the first floor first. Wait, I was going to make you even sir odds, but then I was like, that's a crit. I'll just give it to you. Uh, you're going through the first floor because while well, the other party's on the second floor, the other half of the party's down here on the first floor where you're at. Mm -hmm. And Frankie cares yeah. about Frankie. Frankie cares about Frankie. While he's doing all this, Nancy is going to be using the tools from Greg's belt to try and unjam the chainsaw. Cool. Walking down a hallway, Frankie, is the largest man you've maybe ever seen in your life. There's a big black trench coat on, a nice fedora. Mm -hmm. And the skin oh, looks the skin looks a little gray, but because of the camera quality, you can't really make out much about this large imposing figure. Mm -hmm. But he's slowly stomping his way directly towards the camera that you're currently on. And as he gets up to it, just one face-sized fist reaches up and just smashes it like it knows it's on mm -hmm. frankie give me an intelligence roll because you're involved in weapons for umbrella company six <laughs> you have no idea what the fuck that is what the fuck is it okay hold up hold up hold up hold up i just want to go what through talking about oh that was the biggest man i've ever seen oh uh, he just smashed this camera in this hallway Oh, uh, he was walking from this there. direction. I'm not surprised. That was tearing metal apart earlier. I bet. Oh. We'll come back to that. Can I deduce which way he was coming from by that camera that he just smashed in the direction he was walking? Towards you guys. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, let's, let's double check real quick. I'm going to scan the cameras from the direction he was coming. I'm going to assume that one's also smashed. <laughs> No. Just that one? Just that one. one camera. Just that one for some reason. reason. Fact. For some reason. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, yeah. Resident Evil. Yep. Yep. Video yep. games. All right. Uh, we can't be here. We got to go. We got to find uh, anywhere. Coming from that direction. It's going to be this camera. Now, and you're, and it's like he's coming from this direction, and you point back to the hallway that's shuttered up still. And Fist, like a fist <laughs> indention in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. that makes sense. I mean, a twist right on time. Mix the dynamite together, the two twines. <laughs> Meanwhile, back upstairs, uh, Megan, you are successfully kiting the zombie. I'm guessing this is what you're now strategizing and doing until they get the thing. <laughs> yeah, or unless it seems to turn its attention away. It does not. It seems fixated on you, the moving prey. Get them steps in. All right. Uh, sh Marshall, Luna. Lion and don't up. Lion and you keep Lion fucking up. But so far, you know that like woman, that. scorpion, vase, and branch do not work. <laughs> What else is left? Uh, there is lion, fish, bird. Uh, wait, no. 
Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just give it to you. Branch is one. Uh, but there's still, you've done woman, scorpion, fish, and vase. There is still bow, snake, bird. I think you said you were giving us branch. Yeah, because I fucked up branch is one of the actual selections. <laughs> so lion and branch. We got four left. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, uh, Megan, go ahead and move yourself some more. Continue to kite. Trying, trying very hard to make sure it doesn't lose sight of Two. me. Mm -hmm. It is following you. I treat myself. It, while I'm taking this very slow tour of the library, I imagine there's a computer somewhere. There is not a computer anywhere. This is a ye old classic traditional library. Uh, but okay. I, if you want to give me a, um, give me an, an investigation. Fitting. Fifteen. Okay, so the the bookshelves here along this wall are on <laughs> rollers. One of them is currently jacked up, and the thing used to like pump the jack is not there. But there's a large gap. Uh, it looks like if you could maybe get it, like find the thing to move it, it would put you at least if when you're up on the third floor, it would give you access to a door. Okay. There is a ladder directly in front of you. Yeah. And there's there's another door on that side. Uh huh. But otherwise, it's just books and tables and stuff. Right. Okay. And uh, Lush, I will allow for two interventions in experiment, just so you are aware. <laughs> that was a very smart question you asked there. So you can keep running around, you can climb the ladder, or you can take the staircase, or you can go into the lounge with your with uh, Luna and your brother. Oh, I'm making the lap. <laughs> All right. We had a... What happens by that? And Marshall and Luna. Go ahead and give me more intelligence rolls. Well... It's not boss, and it's not steak. You have two whopping options left. Literally a 50 50. Yep. All right, uh, Megan, go ahead and move. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Uh, it doesn't actually say your name. It doesn't say your name. <laughs> oh, but if it was her husband. Nope, that's on the other side of the second floor. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah, I've created. <laughs> right, so, 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 me here. <laughs> Marshall, Luna. I'm going to try the bow and arrow. Okay. I'm going to try the other one. I guess it was the bird. Luna. You hit the very last one, bird. <laughs> they all click. They lie. The, the metal falls out. Grab the coin. Grab the coin. Go over the walkie-talkie. Got the second one. Yeah, we got to move. Uh, one sec. Yeah, there's something down here just got to us. Uh, the quicker you could get this going, the better. Yeah, no. As loud fist hits wall. <laughs> no, the uh, giant okay. hand punches through the metal grate and just with ease, with one hand, just rolls it out of the way. You could hear a horde of zombies behind it. Mm -mm. And the large man ducks his way through. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't look 
any kind of emotion to straight Terminator style and starts stomping in the direction of Frankie and Nancy. Nope. And let me find a token for him real quick, because I forgot to do that. Time to beef another chase. Nancy, no more Molotovs. Um, or? Creative <laughs> assets. Now let him tell you what to do. <laughs> well, I don't have any Molotovs, so I mean. Yeah, he. they only had that at the uh, bar, because they were at the bar. <laughs> Uh, I will let you guys move first. Yep. <laughs> Adding up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the, mm, the white line is terrain. So you can either climb over the walls and desks, or you can move around. I'm going yeah. to dash Let's for that extra six squares. Oh, well, the high ground. Right there. There. Right. So, Veronica, can I have there, a there, there. there. Seven, yeah. eight. This big man is now moving with purpose. Mm -hmm. You know that he is faster than you. Mm -hmm. Because he did not burn for double movement. And that's how much distance he closed. He takes big steps. See, let me count. He was right there, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times five, fifty-five feet of movement. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's 40 feet of movement. Yep. Those are a wee bit faster than us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Second floor, what are you doing real quick? Um, All you, the last thing you heard over the radio is we gotta go <laughs> and, <laughs> and nothing else. Dick into the plan, trying to head to the third floor. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys I'm going to? Then we will get back to that in a moment. Frankie and Nancy. Uh, the coin in Megan's bag and climb the ladder. Hey, Frankie, <laughs> quick, um, get up wait. here. I need to check how this works real quick. Not till later, cool. Well, within 60 feet, word. So I'm gonna move my max distance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put me about right there. And we're gonna use a genius point for, watch your step. Mm. Okay. Uh, go ahead and draw on the map where that 10 foot square is going to be. Rectangle. Right. Or just ping. Yeah, that works too. Uh, centered. Right there. At the top of the stairs? On the stairs? Uh, on the stairs. Okay. Two, three, he will get here. DC 13. Slips and tumbles down the stairs. Oh, do I? Well, I guess he's prone, so I have advantage, huh? Don't even have to ask about high ground. Uh, we've already talked about high ground before in this game. You have high ground is not doing that, but he is prone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't remember. It's okay. I got one bullet for my rifle and four in my shotgun. I'm going to use my last rifle because it's okay. accurate, I imagine. And it doesn't spray. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. 15. Does not hit. That, that, that is, that, that's why whenever you go to collapse something, Mitch, hit the gear next to your damage, and it will leave it all Okay. Alone. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Well... Well, those doors go into the rooms everyone else just went in, right? Uh, well, hold on. I was leaving that map up because you um, were attacking. But technically. Yeah. <laughs> but technically. We on the second floor. Technically. Okay. Technically, you guys are right there. Mm-hmm. 
And I guess we hear big boom. You hear the big boom of the rifle. We know where everyone went, so I'm going to go yeah. towards everyone. Okay. No. Sorry. They are over here. We double time right. it. <sighs> okay. Go ahead and take your 12 steps of movement then, Frankie. Five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That'll put me right outside that door. Cool. Go ahead and move yourself. <sighs> Boop. <sighs> And hi, Doc. Uh, Doc is still being chased by a zombie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Nancy, I'm just gonna go through the door because you can. Like... Because you can look down, Nancy. You do see it. See the big guy, the lovely gentleman. Uh, just. Completely ignore those steps now. One, two. Is walking over to the other steps. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> How structurally sound is the police department? Very. Did an explosion, like, collapse the area? No. Okay. Very the good. police department is so sturdy, it could withstand a helicopter crashing into it. Yeah. And being used as a door. Two sticks of dynamite, they're handmade, and when they're rolled right, there's a heart that has an N and a G in it. And she's mm -hmm. gonna light the twisted wick and throw it at the big at the, at the big man. This guy is, yeah. The 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 kind well dressed gentleman. Okay. Yeah. All right, give me a strength check for the throw. I actually have the item I can roll. Throw an okay. explosive. It's like a despot. And with reckless attack as well, I said that before I saw the attack result, I was trying to get it out fast. And 11, it's splash damage at least, so it's an area. Mm -hmm. But again, if the 15 didn't hit it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the 11 ain't going to yeah. hit. Right. All right, cool. So now, like, what's up, Doc? How's it going? And Nancy stops in the door, lights six of dynamite, and chucks it at something. It comes to the door, and I'm sitting on the other side, heavily breathing. If it was a cartoon, you'd see the heart coming out. <laughs> all right. So for all of you, there is the door that Nancy's currently at that she's throwing dynamite at. There's a staircase up to the third floor. And... <laughs> There's a ladder to the to uh, the other side of the third floor, and there's no connection between this door and the other door on the third floor. Well, it doesn't make any sense to go that way, does it? <laughs> Luna, where's the statue upstairs? Because it's on the third floor. I don't, you know, I don't ever go up there. Third floor, go up. Going um, up, the, yeah. going up the stairs. And the, the no. Stairs or ladder? I need this, Frankie. Stairs. I'm right there at the stairs. Okay, Nancy. Go, 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 go. No. Going up the stairs. Luna. Stairs. Marshall. Stairs. Megan. Stairs. stairs. Okay. Uh, beautiful. I love it. Uh, and one, two. Three, ah, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for the rest of you, as you're scuttling up the stairs, uh, Frankie and Nancy, you've seen this already, the biggest guy, all gray skin and scars, in a black leather trench coat and a black fedora, like slowly, like has to bend down to get through the normal person sized door. Is that what did you guys do? Running up As the we stairs. All clear? As we all clear the all right. Uh, the just... threshold. So there is a straight shot to the door on this side, and there's a little bridge that connects connects between the two sides of the upper library. I'm aware there's a black space between where you guys are and the said door. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's fine. What did I have to worry about? Oh, 
Once we're all clear of these stairs, I'm gonna hook another bag of goo for watch your step again. Okay. Well, I'm so going it's to um floor. stairs and then stairs again. Yeah, Luna, you said yeah. So it's like stairs landing, stairs this way landing, stairs going up, rest of stairs going up. Gotcha. Uh, at the rest of the stairs going up. Once we're all clear of that, I'm on. Fuck right. the goo. Luna, you said you're going straight for the door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get. Hold on. <laughs> you get to where that black square is, and give me a deck saving throw. A uh, fucking save there. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh. Splat back down onto the second yes, floor as the that. ground gives out gives way. <laughs> Oh dang! Am I All inside mean. the room? I assume I'm inside the room. Yes, you are. You are. You are inside the room. The zombie turns to you towards the noise. The 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 gentleman who was making his way to the stairs comes around this corner as well. Meanwhile, up on the third floor. <laughs> oh. So Luna, the boards crick Ooh. and crack, and the floor falls out from under her feet, and Luna goes tumbling down as she so rushed for the door. Mm. Yeah, you are alive. Luna fell. She's in the room with that thing. Uh, let's see. Luna can hear me, correct? Yep. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use a, a scram jets. Oh, yep, scram jets. I'm going to use a genius point for coordinated maneuvers. Okay, for everybody to get the hell out. So I will. I'll do an extra thirty feet on top of my normal movement for the turn. Yeah, and, uh, All right, Luna, you get to take an addition. You get to take a free move action. We're back over here yeah. at you, I think. No, we're not. I'm just going back over there. There we go. There we go. There. So hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're able to get right to the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> and then we drag this back over here so everybody else can see their characters. And all of you can mm -hmm. take a free 30 feet of movement. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going. Good. Yeah. Luna's young. Nancy isn't just going to run off. She's going to lean over the thing, like lay down, lean her top half over with her shotgun, and shoot at the big guy. All I'm right. not going to give reckless attack for it, though. I'm just going to okay. shoot with the shotgun. Shooting at the big guy. And grab you and pull you down. This is so, one. Wait, hold on. So, <laughs> never going to have to jump. You just... Don't. <laughs> 20. This is just oh, the 20. movement Yeah, the coordinated maneuvers. I, I'm aware. I told everybody to take their movement. Nancy is declaring an action. Okay. I used half of my movement to go prone to lean down through the hole to shoot at the it, zombie. It's okay. I'm allowing the shot to happen. Mm -hmm. Chill. Well, I have a plan for it. 20, uh, 20 hits. 10 damage. Uh... Cool. And the other half of my movement's being used to stand back up. So I'm not leaning through a hole. Thank you for doing multi-floor combat. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, shot. Uh, doesn't seem to move him or jar him or anything. you a tough one. Really, I think all we can do is run. Right. Megan, you're the only person who hasn't moved. I'm just, I'm just keeping up with everybody. Okay. Right here. All right, and then for my normal movement, now I'm gonna dash to get around to the to this door. Yeah, I'm going around to this one. Okay, you get there. Uh, there is not a completed uh, walkway here. There is uh, bookcases. One of them down below looks like it's on a jack, but it's missing the handle and is like currently not slid to make a complete way for you to cross. Okay. 
So it would be jumping? Nope. No? Resident Evil or, mechanics. Or, jumping doesn't exist in Resident Evil. The jack. Okay. Yeah. You can then I come back to the door. I know where a jack. I know where a jack is. He's just kind of dead. I, I turn around and let him know. Way's blocked over there. We gotta go this way. <sighs> and that that was that my whole turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marshall checks the door. It is not locked. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Frankie, what are you doing? Oh, uh, keeping up. Nancy? Keeping up, and also, I have Greg's handy-dandy tool belt that I grabbed. Uh-huh. a screwdriver in there. I could probably take the door down if I was protected for, like, 30 seconds. It's a good thing the door's unlocked. Well, yeah. I, meant, I meant to use as a bridge oh. for the gap. Megan! <laughs> that just... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going in this room. You just go in that room. Uh, there's two uh, empty, vacant bookshelves here beside the door. Uh, but you hear the rummaging around of some zombos here in this room. You haven't seen them yet. Frankie, did you deploy your uh, stuff? I sure did. <laughs> cool. Luna. You can make a DC 13. It's fine. This is why I was checking how it works, it because it was. later it doesn't affect you guys. Uh, oh, it's dexterity. Okay. Are you going up the stairs or are you going somewhere else? Because remember, you can't party split. You just have to stay in the same building. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go in the I'm gonna go lounge. Okay. And I'm going to shut the door behind me. Matt, is there anything in this room I can barricade that door with? No. Not that it's going to slow him down. No. The, the only thing that's in this room is the door. There's a door. There's a, a little stand with a vase with some with some lovely green foliage on it, and the lion statue. Does it look like the foliage I ate before? Uh -huh. Sure does. Grab the plant, stuff it in my pocket, and then I'm gonna continue out the other door. You get to that door. It's locked from the other side. Fuck. Welcome to the wonderful panic that is Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. So that was one, two, three. Mm -hmm. You took your action. I'm giving your action for checking the door and taking the herbs. So you still have three steps of movement. It's going to take me three just to get back out the fucking door onto the stairs. Uh-huh. Take your three steps. Okay. One, two for the zombo. Because my dexterity doesn't fucking make it. You slide down and you fall prone. One, two, three, four. Uh, nope. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Say no? Do it. Oh, uh, no, I was reading more up on it because I is if this technically counts as a chase, I can mm -hmm. technically designate people that it does affect and who it doesn't affect, but we're past that. <laughs> I threw the goo before I realized there was a hole in the ground. Does a 13 hit you, Luna? Luna, uh, no. Oh, oh yeah, no. yeah. Oh no. Nope. Nine doesn't either. Right. He goes to take a big swing and just punches through the floor beside your head. Luna, you know if that hits you, you That's wouldn't it. have a head anymore. That face exactly. <laughs> um, I almost grabbed it as a screenshot for the thumbnail. <laughs> 
I don't have anything I could use to help move faster. Can you try to take double movement? Yeah, bro, no. Uh huh. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. I'm, yeah. Stand up and I'm going to try to go up the stairs again because okay. there's, there's not any other. This motherfucker's got me pinned in this corner right now. Uh, you could break through and go through the door. Or you can try to kite him and or go up the ladder. <laughs> Did that ladder connect to the floor? To the third floor, That's yeah. Fine. Where all your friends went. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Give me an athletics for climbing. Go way up this ladder. Just so you're aware, yeah. you now have a care. You, you now have a care if you decide you want to do a reroll. <laughs> Shit, I'll give you. A, I'll give you an athletics just for the simple fact that I'm covered in goo now. It's fine. Thanks, Frankie. G give me the athletics. He's a goo How man. was I supposed to know? That is more than enough. Is police station. Uh, this guy, one, two, three, chases, but you climb so fast with that awesome 16 that he tries to grab and misses. One, two, three, four, five, so six, seven, little. eight, and goes down to, goes over towards the stairs. And for now, realizes that the stairs probably aren't his move. He goes out from the library back into the main hall to try to find another way to get to you. For now, safe. But you still occasionally, whenever it's quiet enough, hear the loud stomping of him moving through the police department. Occasionally hear the slamming of a door. Mm -hmm. So is everyone just standing in that hallway still? I'm unscrewing the I door. This ladder. There's there's no door to unscrew, Nancy. Oh. Thought we opened one right here. That was opened. Mm -hmm. It was unlocked. Yeah, best I'm... like six feet, six and a half feet. I am as quietly as I can investigating. Okay. To see if there's anything useful in this room. Megan, have you alerted everybody else to be cautious? I mean, I... Okay. Anybody that's coming into this room, give me a stealth check. Oh, dang. What is with sixes? Me and sixes? <laughs> I don't know. And it's not with you. Like a helpful six is like in the vampire game where I kick that dude's dick in half. Like what the hell? All right, they're all they're all that type zombie. I missed that part. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> got a running start and hell punched the dude in the balls. Triple six. Giving your fucking drop kicks. Roll a four. Roll a four, and it's sad as a minus four. The zombies do not notice you. Oh thank yeah. <laughs> but. As you venture forward, however, lair, token, lair, token, lair, token. There are three zombies in this room with you. Would anybody like to give me a perception or investigation check? Yeah. Um, investigation, hey, dear, please. You, you fucking serious? <laughs> hey, it's not a thing. Okay. Uh, Megan, Marshall, uh, let's see here. Nancy, there's three zombies in the room with you. <laughs> oh. Frankie, uh, it's kind of weird how a lot of, like, the ceiling tiles aren't here anymore. Like, mm. something's been moving along the ceiling and knocked them down to the ground below. That's a bummer. Megan and Marshall, 
down here to the south around where like this gear thing is on the other side of a cage there is a giant statue of or well a smaller statue of a maiden kind of similar to the one that you saw down the main hall with a bronze coin and it looks like there's an explosive over a welded shut latch like there's a brick of plastic but there's no detonator or or timer or anything attached to the brick so yay another thing you guys have to find somewhere here in the police station okay all right and there is a door up here to the north this is a storage room right yep there's a lot of art that's got sheets covered over it, uh, some some vacant shelvings, so on and so forth. Would you say there's just some random boxes? Yeah. So I'm going to spend a genius point for uh, right tool. Uh, go ahead and give yourself your genius point back. Oh, okay, cool. Hey. There is one right tool, and those would uh, a detonator would not be in these boxes. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I was trying to do. I was actually looking for a metal baseball bat. For like a weapon? Yes. Okay, cool. Sure. Uh, I don't. We'll say you'll find a metal rod that can serve the purpose of a baseball bat. There wouldn't okay. be a baseball bat bat in art box crates yeah. as long as it function is functioning it will function the same way yes so uh could it be two of them since i can produce up to two pieces sure and i hand it hand one over to my sister oh <laughs> megan gets a baseball bat <laughs> you played t-ball when you were point, five point to the zombie Points at the statue. <laughs> Don't forget, there's also a door out. It's following the path of the, the ceiling slides. Also, kind of ducking. I'm going to take my and hand it back to Frankie. <laughs> what the hell am I going to do with this? The zombies turn <laughs> when Frankie asks the question. <laughs> Beat him in the head. She has her hammer out, at least. <laughs> so it's like, quiet, 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 point, point. Nice, big, stealthy, hell yeah. What the hell am I going to do with this? <laughs> yep. Oh. oh, shit. <laughs> I like Matt's zombie Matt, That's very what you're going to do. <laughs> What's great is those are actually the Resident Evil like zombie noises. That's exactly what they sound like. <laughs> Amazing. I love this. That's... I'm not strong. Thank you, Pierce. Thank you, Pierce, for that. So what happens when you fail perception. <laughs> True. So fixated on the ceiling tiles. Yeah, because, hey, there's things loose and they crawl. Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing it the same way we did the library fight. You guys will have an action, and then the zombies will take action. Who would like to do what? Well, I'm going to move up to this zombie that's further away from us. So this one down here by the... Okay. And I'm going to reckless attack and power attack it. Okay, hold on. Uh, Frankie? Uh, we're going to move... I want to say through Marshall, or maybe trade places with Marshall. I don't know. I, I'm oh, getting ready to move, right move out of there. So right, if well, you want me to go ahead and do my movement right quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dis I'm using disengage to get out of that. And go into that corner. You cannot go to that corner. It's blocked by a cage. That's where the okay. statue is. Then, so pretty much the square that's touching all that, that gear on the map, uh, that, that is inaccessible. Okay, then it would be here, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Megan? You said the statue's in a cage? Yep. That, that is to be exploded. That is welded shut and you need to explode it. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to keep looking for something that might be used to expel the cage mm -hmm. or detonate the C4 that is attached to the cage. I'm just going to keep looking. I'm keep searching. Luna? I'm gonna quit try. I'm gonna call, try and calm myself down from the panic that just fucking happened down below. So you're not uh, doing anything. Cool. Uh, no, I'm not doing anything. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I have a quick question. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Quick question: Is the way you are running the detonation like you? We have to find the thing we can't improvise. Correct. Okay. There is a solution to the puzzle. One solution. Resident Evil. It has opened the door. Can I blast out this dude in front of me? Sure. Sweet. And Nancy, uh, you'll be swinging next. Mm -hmm. Oh. 18 to hit, 13 damage. 18 to hit, 18 to hit. Nancy, roll your damage. Nice. All right. This is for Pierce Zombie. Defender wins. Okay. And this is for Nancy Zombie. Nancy, oh, here, yours also has, yours has more pluses, doesn't it? My attack? Yeah. Your, your damage. Yeah. The damage, the... I got the plus three from strength because it's a strength based attack, mm -hmm. and then the plus five from my power attack. If you do me a favor, time. if you do me a favor, moving forward, add that plus both add that pluses so we have the total total actual number. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, what does it mean, uh, Storm? So he's at one, and this one is now at one. They made their constitution saves. So, oh wait, no, you did. You went for the head. Gene Fa. Right, Nancy, you went for the head? No, I didn't. I just wanted to get the damage before okay. going for the head. Cool. cool, cool, got it. Awesome. And Megan, you're, you were looking around. You're not finding anything that looks like it would work with the thing. Would you like to swing on the zombie instead? Or sun the zombie? Or scalpel the zombie? Any Anything with the zombie that's right there next to you? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I, I guess I will. I will swing on the zombie with my negative one. Okay. <laughs> also, question. Zombies not immune to stun. Hmm? Are zombies immune to stun? They're not. Okay. That one has to make another constitution check. Okay. Oh, I see 13. I'm happy to do so. Megan, you will hit. Yeah. This is for the stun. He's stunned. Cool. So for those of you right next to Nancy, a.k.a. Megan, Frankie, describe what she sees. Uh, he rears back with the hand with the glove, straight forward, just fully touches the zombie in the chest. Large discharge of electricity. Like a stun gun, but in his hand. On crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's loud. Well, not loud, but it's right. Marshall looks over and just that. Ooh, that's cool. Four... All right, and zombies go. So let's see here. This is Frankie's is stunned. So this is Nancy. Eight doesn't hit you. It does not. 
And this is Megan. Don't forget, you're still under your thing. Oh, I'm sorry. That zombie gets advantage because of my reckless attack. Okay. Then the second attack on Nancy. 17 hit you? Okay. Take three damage, Nancy. And give me an athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher. Hell yeah, Nancy. Hell yeah, old lady. I'm not getting grabbed by no zombies. You took my husband from me. Nancy goes full Yoda, just starts backflipping. Right. So there's a little bit of damage. Actually, there's only, yeah, a little bit of damage on Nancy, but nobody's grappled or anything. And turn two. Yep. Frankie, declare. Oh, we are going to go for a switchblade stab in the head on the one that is stunned in front of me. Okay, Nancy. Headshot with the hammer on the one in front of me with a reckless attack to get rid of the disadvantage. Luna? Um, after yeah. having seen the flash, I'm going to come in. Um, and I'm going to try to attack the one that um, is over here. The one with Megan? Yeah. Okay. Marshall? I'm uh, going to try to flip the pistol around and hit the one in front of Megan. Okay. And Megan. The one that is in front of you? Uh, yeah, no. I'm going to run over to this door to see if it's locked. Okay. Perfect. And if it's not, I should have enough movement to get out here just to look around. All right. We're just going to go ahead and get the attack of opportunity out of the way real quick. Yep. Does an 18 it's... beat your... Okay, take that minimal damage. And athletics or uh, acrobatics. Oh, jeez. Hmm. You got this. Nope, don't yeah. got it. Nope. I'm grappled AF. You go to try to leave, and the zombie latches on to Megan. Uh, okay, so boom. Marshall, take your swing. Remember, if you're going for the head, it's with disadvantage. All right. So, uh, so yeah, 14. 18, 14, that is more than enough to hit. Uh, go ahead and... What, what what are you hitting the butt of your gun? So 1d4 yeah. plus strength. <laughs> hey! That is enough. Marshall oh. saves the sister. <laughs> and move them off. Pull. Uh, Luna, you don't have a target anymore. If you'd like to swap to the one that's on Frankie, you can. Because it's right yeah. there, Jason. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just whacking yeah. it with my gun as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, 10 and 16. Both are more than enough to hit. 1d4 plus strength. Hey. Down. And Nancy. 13. Okay. Uh, boom. Perfect. For four damage. Hey. And? <laughs> I didn't expect it. Hey, you guys have figured out the code for dealing with zombies now. <laughs> I'm proud of them in the head. Just like not, not, just, not just that, hit them with the head, but whittle their HP down first and then go for the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And Megan, you're freed as your brother saves you from the Zombo. And you go up again. Beating him in and blood splattered all over. And you go up there to that door. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You head up to that door and it's unlocked. Mm. We can open it. I wouldn't go in there. I think there's something in there. That spike came from the roof downstairs, about right outside that door. It got one of the police officers when all the chaos broke loose. Well, all this stuff has to be sitting around somewhere. Um. 
We need to go out there, but open the door. Be careful. Nope. You open the door. There's a long hallway. There's uh, down to the left. There's a dead end. Uh, but up and to the right, it looks like it wraps around. I'll head out that way. Perfect. And you know what? I feel like this is a good place to stop for the night. It's yeah. it's a little. It's in the later portion of eight o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys have explored almost a full half of the police precinct. Kind of. <laughs> Not really. Maybe a quarter. Oh, maybe. Maybe a, down below. Maybe a quarter. Because we did skip all of this side of the first floor and second floor. Mm -hmm. Except for the library. Because <laughs> Megan started with the spade key, which in the game you get a little bit later. You've cut out a lot of zombie fighting by getting that spade key. Worth losing a husband. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Worth losing two husbands. It is fine. All right, guys. This was episode four. Welcome back. Uh, we re-familiarized ourselves with the mechanics of the game. Uh, we yeah. got to do some puzzles. You got two thirds of the of the maiden statue of the central one statue. Slotted it, one slotted in, one in Megan's backpack because I said I was putting it in. One slotted in, one there. You know, you have to find a detonator. You have to find a, a jack lever. Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> we got to meet, we got to meet Mr. X, who's definitely still not chasing you through this police station. Thanks, fine. thanks viewers and patrons for that. Hey, yeah, I've been there. I'm not gonna lie, I've been staring at that staircase this whole time. Like, mm. oh, don't worry, right, Professor S, sandpaper his face and start lifting. I uh, I uh, just uh, don't worry. I've made it very clear. You guys can hear the footsteps, and doors, and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I mean, we can't get through here. There's a helicopter in the way. <laughs> oh dang! All right, uh, let's see here. We started with Megan for recap. So Frankie, props. Oh man, everybody did great tonight. Oh, there's a lot of good role play, a lot of good uh, puzzle Ooh. solving, a lot of very stressful combat and chases. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give it to uh, my man Bizzle, my man Marshall Copeland for uh, messing up the puzzle the first couple times, <laughs> getting demoralized. I'm a smart guy; I can do this. <laughs> we'll get it this time. We'll get it this time. Did it? Nope. I like the second statue more because they went through every option <laughs> until <laughs> every single one. Meanwhile, Megan's just <laughs> sprinting around in a circle in the library. Just like, please, Maul please. Walking. Just Maul walking away from the library. Power walk. I'm going to be in shape by the end of this apocalypse. <laughs> yes. Nancy. Is another band. Nancy, played by Rohini. Uh... I mean, everyone played amazing, but it's an easy choice for me tonight with Megan. Seeing the way that Megan and Nancy, the contrast between how they react under all this trauma and stress at the same time where Nancy's like, we need to get out of here. Megan's like, we need to discuss first. I need a moment. I need to process things. Yeah. And it's like, we don't have time. <laughs> Love it. Luna. Oh, uh, Miss Valentine. I, I, yeah, I gotta give it to Frankie for inadvertently fucking me over on those stairs. The funny thing is, oh, watch well, it. Yeah. I mean, but I love the fact that he's actually implementing his plan uh, for this. Yep. To, to stop or Mr. X. Marshall? Yeah, the face he moves. Uh, <laughs> I think I gotta go with Nancy for being prepared with dynamite. I did not expect dynamite to come out today. Now she had so much stuff now that she got everything from her husband. Through a grenade. <laughs> I, yeah, but I bought it and then threw it. <laughs> and last but not least, Megan Copeland, portrayed by Jennifer Eves. 
I am also going to go with Nancy, but this time for the the argument in which Megan was like, you keep putting us in danger by going off by yourself. And Nancy immediately going, yeah, I'm going to go this way. Open door. Yeah. <laughs> Four zombies. Opens the front door. <laughs> Amazing. It's great. Oh. Uh... I will miss this group in this fun times of Resident Evilness. Uh, guys, if you're not part of our Discord community, sign ups for the next games. We're going to be starting okay. this week. Is that wrong chat? Wrong chat. chat. Again, pro streamer. <laughs> if you would like to sign up for games, playing games, talk to us about games, uh, let us know how we're doing in Resident Evil land. Uh, Go ahead and uh, click that link either there in chat or if you're watching this on YouTube down in the description below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. We love growing our community. Speaking of growing our community, YouTube, punch that bell. YouTube gives you access to a lot of things, all of our videos, all of our sessions, all of our campaigns, as well as uh, YouTube is now another place you can vote. If you don't feel like joining our Discord, eventually we'll be posting a little shorty boy talking about the current votes going on and you can vote there as well. Who and next? Uh, that'll be Glenn Dissel's vote. And Which of course, will be? what could he be running? One sec, we'll get to that. We have bonus time and Patreon. I don't know. Patreon gets you all kinds of fun things. Did you like how sometimes people are just like, hey, I'd, I'd really love to drive up the terror tracker so bad things can happen to these players? That's yeah, one of the many, okay. many luxuries of uh, Patreon. Uh, you get some free channel redeems. You get weighted voting in our votes. You get merch. You get slots for games, credits in our YouTube videos. So many things. So head over to that link. Also there in chat, also down below in the description if you're watching this on YouTube, and uh, check that out. And speaking of, since my vote is now concluded, Glandissel, how would you tell us about your vote? Because Glandissel's coming back next for storytelling. And I actually have options this time. It's not just, we're going to run Daggerheart. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, Tales of the Valiant using the Humblewoods uh, campaign setting. Nice, nice. What's that? Is that is that what, what is that? Yeah. Humblewood is. If you're familiar with the Red Wall series, uh, it, think think along those lines. Um, anthropomorphic animals all in living in the woods. Yes, if you're familiar with the Red Wall series, there's some kind of secret of Nim happening. Hmm. Five will go in the west. Yeah. It could be. He has to get from Russia first, Pierce Dam. Where's Russia? Mm -hmm. Everywhere. It's the future or fantasy or ghost. <laughs> Where is Russia? Perfect. And the uh Perfect. the other option is Star Wars Edge of the Empire. Ooh. We get oh. run around as bounty hunters, smugglers, and you know, all the wretched scum and villainy. We we promised you guys a uh a uh, uh, very tough decisions this next voting cycle between yeah. werewolf and werewolf, and now Redwall and Star Wars. Yeah, someone might play as a battery droid. So glad I've upped my Patreon. It's true. Yeah. I can't push mine any further. So you know, what's that? You, what's that? You, what's that? You need me to make a more expensive tier. <laughs> I'm already ascended. What do you want from me, man? I can come up with give you a high five every 30 minutes. I, I'd do that for you. You live so far away. But I would do that for you. Uh, all right, guys, uh, we will be back with more Resident Evil Survivors next Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we have Jen of Thieves, Old Gods of Appalachia campaign, Candle, Book, and Bell, that returns this coming Wednesday now that we're not in wonderful Florida paradise. Disney. And Friday will be the return of Chef's a Vampire Game, Hell Week? Yes. Yes. Hell Week. Uh so all of our games are back and live and going, and we will see you either on Wednesday or Friday or back here for more Resident Evil. In the meantime, this was Frankie, portrayed by Pierce O'Mac, Nancy, yeah. portrayed by um, Brew Heine, a.k.a. Mitch, Luna Valentine, portrayed by Ashley the Everything, Marshall Copeland, portrayed by Glenn Dizzle, and Megan Copeland, portrayed by Jen of Thieves. I was DM Daddy, and remember, Daddy loves you.